Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carbs here, and I've got something pretty cool to show you today. Recently, I made a post here on Reddit showing off the drag and drop functionality inside of Godot. What is the drag and drop functionality inside of Godot, you may ask yourself? Yeah, I know, right? Like, I've never seen this before. So, it's pretty cool. I'll tell you that. That's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> No, but anyways, it allows you to simply drag files onto your application and load them in or load the data that's inside of that file and kind of handle it and deal with it. So this could be, you know, loading levels. This could be loading icons. You know, it could be loading images, dialogue. Anything that's basically in a file could maybe potentially be loaded into your application if handled correctly. So I thought, you know, this would be a really great video because, you know, I don't know, it's just a great feature. So anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So this is what we're going to be creating today. It's a very simple application that kind of shows this feature off. What you can do is bring your text file from your Explorer and drag it and drop it into your scene. And it will load that text from the text file into your scene. Pretty neat stuff. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Hopefully you're interested. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and loaded up a new project instead of Godot. We'll go ahead and switch over to the 2D scene and we'll add a control node. Go ahead and name this guy File Loader. And we're going to add some things to this. So first thing that we're going to add is a color rec. We're going to use this as the background. So we'll add it. We'll name it to BG for background. Uh, we will make it a full rec. So it's the entire screen. And we'll also go ahead and dim the color down a bit. Very nice. All right, so let's also add a center container. Or scene. And we'll call this C center. Okay. We'll also make this a full rec. That way everything is centered in the absolute center of the screen. Um, now let's go ahead and click on C center and we're going to add a child to that, which is going to be our text. So it's going to be a label and we'll call this display text. And I'll just add some little text in here. This is where our text will appear. Okay, we'll go ahead and center this up and center it vertically as well, so that way it stays centered in the center of the screen. And we'll go ahead and save this. Let's make a scenes folder. And we'll put it inside of there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make a script. Now we're gonna make this scripts folder as well. And we'll put the file loader.gd in there and I'm gonna go no comments just because all right so first thing we want to do is get a reference to our display text so we'll go ahead and do that so we'll put our scene ref and we're gonna do on ready var display text of type label and then the node so this guy right here, which is this. Um, the next thing that we're going to need is a couple of variables. So I'm going to call this local variables. And we're going to need a string for the file path. And we're also going to need sort of a dummy file. So let's go ahead and make those. So var file path of type string. Also, we'll do loaded file. This is going to be of type file. It's going to be equal to file.new. So, makes a new file. 
essentially that's going to hold our data from our file that we're bringing into the system from your computer to the application so that's how that works i think don't quote me all right <laughs> let's go ahead and make a function now that is going to um, get the file path from the file that you've drug into your application here so we'll call this get dropped files path it's going to return void and let's we'll put pass so it doesn't yell at us okay so we'll come back to this in a second let's go ahead and connect the signal up so the signal that we're looking at here is called files dropped um, and it lives inside of the like Godot scene tree kind of thing um, in the main loop. So essentially, we're just going to connect this up to our function here that we've just created, right? So we will go ahead and do that. Get tree dot connect, and we want to connect the signal files dropped to our function get drops files path which is this now the dropped files or the files dropped does return a couple things and we're going to need to deal with those the first thing that it um, has in it that comes back when you drop a file on there um, on your application is the files path i guess if you will it's an array of files um, or file paths. So that's of type uh, pool string array. So that's basically just a whole bunch of strings, essentially, for all the different files. Um, and the second thing that it returns is the screen, um, which is which screen the application is running on, I believe. I think that's how that works, um, if I understand that correctly. And that's an integer, so screen one, screen two, screen three so on um okay let's also make this bigger because it's going to get out of control here all right so let's go ahead and handle these things so first of all it's to note that you can drop multiple files into your application in this case we're not going to but if you were to do that this string array is going to have a list of all those different file locations so you know there's that but like i said for this one very simple we're just going to use the first file that's clicked and dragged because we're only using one file anyways so let's go ahead and do that okay so we're going to do that with file we're going to set our file path to files zero which is the first index in that array of files so it's the first string in the index first index you know what i mean it's the first one inside of this files array okay so let's make another function real quick and this one's going to be called set display text And you guessed it, this is going to set our display text. Whoa, are you surprised? I know, me too. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna use our uh, new file that we had. So loaded file dot open, and we're gonna open up the file path and we're gonna open it for reading. So file dot read, okay. So this opens a file to read. Uh, now we're going to skip down a line. We're going to go ahead and just close this up. So that way we don't forget. Because if you leave your your files open and you don't close them, it's pretty likely that you're going to have memory leaks and it's it's a big mess. You don't want that. So make sure you always close your, uh, close your files. Um, so what we need to get out of this file while we have it open is the text. So we're going to do display text dot text equals to or equals loaded file dot get as text 
Okay, so that's basically going to load um, the data that's inside of our file and put it into our display text. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The only other thing we need to do here is actually run this display text function. So we'll run it right after we set our file path. There we go. So basically, just a quick rundown of what's happening here. When the files are dropped, this signal will fire, which will run this function, which will set the file path to the first file, or the only file in this case, um, the file path. And then we'll go ahead and use our dummy file to read what's inside of the file and set the display text to what's inside the file. If that makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna run this just so you can see what it looks like. Let me just set the main scene so that way when we hit play, it will just go ahead and launch for us. So we'll go ahead and hit play. Okay, so here is our drag and drop application. We'll go ahead and bring this guy over and here's our test document. So we'll just drag this and there we go. Looks like it loaded in. Very cool. Um, now what's neat about this is we can go ahead and edit this document or change it in some way and uh, reload it again. So we'll go ahead and put some shameless plugs in here such as <laughs> such as that right just some shameless shameless plugs uh so we'll go ahead and as you can see if we re drop this in here again it will reload that file again again you could you know load any file you want after and this would update and change to that file um, and read the text out of it so yeah this is pretty much um what this is and how it works you could do quite a bit with this um, I'll go ahead and show the code here again. It's, it's actually very, very simple, um, as you see here. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. And if it is, definitely, you know, leave that like and uh, hopefully subscribe. Maybe uh, stick around for a little bit. Um, I hope to do very, you know, various different tutorials and that sort of thing here in the future um, when I get time. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, and whatnot. If you guys have recommendations too for like what you want to see, like a tutorial on too, um, I would definitely explore some things. So yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.